The High Court on Monday rejected an application to adjourn Datu Sri Najib Razak's trial to allow him to attend Dewan Rakyat that is reconvening. Najib's lawyer, Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, had argued that his client must be in Parliament to vote on two bills, one making it mandatory for all MPs to declare their assets and another to lower the voting age from 21 to 18. High Court Judge Muhammad Nazlan Muhammad Ghazali reminded the accused that he is facing serious criminal charges, adding that he scrutinised Parliament's agenda for the day and concluded that it was not clear if either bill would be up for voting. Najib, who is the Pekan MP, is on trial over seven charges of abuse of position, criminal breach of trust and money laundering over 42 million ringgit of SRC International's funds. Attorney General Tommy Thomas also objected to the request, saying an adjournment application should be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. The Attorney General added that this was the price an MP who is accused of a criminal charge has to pay and not given special treatment. Thomas also pointed out that the trial was already going slowly, despite being a case of national and public importance. The trial then resumed with former SRC International Syndrome Berhad Director Datuk Subo Muhammad Yassin serving as the 42nd prosecution witness.